What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I'm going to be doing a reaction video to Bulldog Mindset's video regarding exposing the exposers, okay, and talking about whether or not it's masculine to be calling people out and, and trash talking people, okay. And for the record, I respect John from Bulldog Mindset. This is not in a, in a video to, to make fun of him or, or attack him per se. I'm just going to be disagreeing with what I believe to be his position. I haven't even watched this video yet, so you're going to be seeing this, my reaction to this uh, for the first time. But I made a note when I saw this video pop up because I subscribed to his channel. I made a note to make a response to this because I have an idea. He likes to kind of play neutral in this and that. And so I'm going to be offering my my criticism and, and response to what I believe is going to be his mindset here and his position. So uh, let's jump right into this and give my response. What's up, Bulldogs? All right, I promised you I'd make some more content talking about what is the kind of behavior that fits a man of character and a man of high value. And so today I want to talk about mudslinging and calling people names and really making any kind of derogatory statements about other men and why that's always weak non-masculine behavior regardless of who's doing it okay so his first point is that's always weak ma uh, non-masculine behavior okay to be calling people out and mudslinging my position is directly the opposite okay when you have a situation like we have in the pickup community and the seduction community where the vast majority almost everyone okay is scamming lying, cheating, ripping people off, okay? And let's keep in mind here that I've been teaching this for over 10 years. I've been coaching thousands of guys all around the world for over 10 years. I've heard thousands of horror stories, okay? Endless horror stories. And it's it's very consistent, okay? And, and the damage that a lot of these companies have put out into the community is very far reaching. They've destroyed people's lives. They've destroyed people's hope. They've destroyed people's motivation. I've talked to countless guys who have given up Okay, who, who are depressed, who are suicidal. Okay, so it's not in a, in a nice little like PC world. Yeah, don't nobody say anything bad about anyone. That's weak behavior. Okay, no, it's not fucking weak behavior in my opinion, because a lot of these fuckers that are purposely lying, purposely like look at what look what's been exposed. Okay, like look at like with Derek Moneyberg for example. Okay, it was exposed from people on the inside that created his course that he's purposely trying to mislead and confuse people purposely. Okay, he's purposely trying to create problems that his upsells can solve. Okay, and he's trying to extract as much money as possible from each and every guy. Okay, and people get roped into this stuff and they get their pockets emptied and they get their fucking hope destroyed and no results or value is returned. Okay, and that's very fucked up. Okay, should a man call out that kind of behavior? Yes, of course. Does that make him weak? or not masculine? No, absolutely not. It's exactly what a man should do. I think when people skirt around these issues and befriend these these guys that have been objectively proven as full out scamming, that is weak and that is not masculine behavior. Okay, I want nothing to do with those guys. Guys are like go on fresh and fit, go on fuck no, not in a million years. Okay, Andrew Tate, who I respect, went on their channel just for clout. Okay, I can guarantee you it was only for clout. Okay, I would not I would not sacrifice you know, the, the, the clownery and the, and the fucking nonsense that they brought in and, and be a part of that for the sake of clout. I've never given a fuck about, you know, how many subs I have or how much popularity I have. And that, you know, I, it's, I've stated that all the way through. So let's go through and react to this here and look at his arguments. If you guys are just joining me for the first time, I'm John from BulldogMindset.com. On this channel, I teach you how to be a man, teach you how to build financial independence, how to get the physique you want, how to get the girls you want, and how to go from the victim mindset to the bulldog mindset. Click that subscribe button to join us here. And then there's a card up here. As always, you can take the bulldog quiz. Just 10 questions will tell you what your bulldog score is from 0 to 100. All right. So, yeah, you know, again, this isn't about anyone specifically, but I wanted to address this topic because I see... First of all, I'm... <laughs> It probably is about me, okay? No one's really going hard like I am. There were some weak responses where people decided to slander me once I attacked them for good reason. But uh, let's go through and, and see. Uh, and again, I like John, so I'm not going to be making fun of things like like the face he's making here, like I would normally do when I, when I attack people. This is more just like kind of a constructive 
response here that I would like to, to offer the other side of the coin. So much of it now. And people are like, what do you think about this person saying this about this person or, or all of this stuff? And my answer is just, if you are doing any amount of mudslinging and name calling, regardless of whether you claim you're rooting out scammers or, or whatever it is, it, it, it is just unbecoming of a man of character, of a man of class, of a gentleman, of a high value man to do that. Okay, full disagree. Okay. First of all, th this isn't the, the traditional definition of like, oh, I'm a man of class. I walk around in a suit and I, and, and I don't swear and I, I don't speak bad about any other man. Okay. And everything is just a nice, the world is far too PC. Okay. The community and, and lots of the guys in it are far too soft. Okay. And, and John's channel is meant to make people masculine and strong. Okay. And sometimes you have to fucking ruffle some feathers in order to do that. So I'm going to have to hard disagree here that I don't think it speaks anything of my character to call these people out. And yes, I agree. I'm, I'm rough around the edges. I tell it like it is. I'm very blunt. But lots of guys appreciate that and respect that. It's been very polarizing in the sense that lots of guys come onto my channel. Oh, I thought you were a huge asshole. Oh, you seem to just be a hater at first. But then I listened to all the evidence that you have when you talk about these guys and the points you're making. And, oh, uh, this makes a lot of fucking sense. And uh, also, by the way, I've had this as a gut feeling for a while. I knew this guy probably was full of shit. And it's good to see the evidence of why he is, okay? And as I've said countless times throughout my channel, I respect this game a great deal. I've put my blood, sweat, and tears virtually most of my free time as an adult over the past 15 to 20 years into optimizing this game. Okay, at the time of this recording, I'm up to 1,375 girls, and I've I've taken it further than anyone has. I, I've delivered more optimizations than anyone has by far. Okay, that's not the topic of this video. The point is, when you have a whole bunch of fucking retard clowns that come into the space, okay, that are just asserting a lot of nonsense that has nothing to do with real strategy, that are purposely just trying to mislead you so they can fucking take your money, which steal your money, okay, and and this, this is rampant throughout the whole community. And I get to talk to guys every single day that are broken and destroyed because of this. Okay, And when I put out those videos, it saves a lot of fucking hardship and bullshit that people otherwise would have went through. So I believe, to the contrary, that I'm doing a great service to the industry. Okay, And I would not change a thing. I've had marketers come in, oh, you need to clean up your image. You need to stop talking about other people. You need to stop, you stop swearing. And I say, I'm not going to fucking stop swearing because I like to fucking swear, number one. Number two, that's just how I talk. And I'm not gonna go put on this little, you know, facade and be like, hello, gentlemen, today uh, we're going to be uh, doing a, a, a neutral review of a company that I can't say the name of, because I'm a huge pussy, okay? And I, and I, no, th these guys don't deserve any fucking credit. They don't deserve to be treated with respect. They don't be, deserve to be treated nicely or talked about nicely, okay? These guys are just doing the fucking classic scam playbook, okay? Look, look at like guys that made like a Ponzi scheme, okay? Like Bernie Madoff, okay, who's now dead. They took my parents and my grandparents for a ride, okay? Because some people at church said, hey, uh, get involved in this thing. It's guaranteed 12% interest. And I went over the, the figures and I was like, this doesn't look right. And then they like gave my parents extra money at one point by accident and i was reviewing the financials i was like they paid you too much here and my parents are very ethical and they called and they were like oh don't worry about it and i was like mom there's red flags everywhere here this is before like the ponzi scheme was on earth and i was being very critical based on objective empirical reasons and was saying hey this does not look right at all you guys should get the fuck out of there and lo and behold it, it turns out to be a big ponzi scheme and they lost a whole bunch of their retirement money and they're suffering because of that Okay, as well as with countless other people. Okay, would a real man in that situation have, have spoken out publicly against what what seemed to be scamming? And that and that was just like a hypothetical. These are examples where the guys are clearly scamming. Like there's no fucking two ways about it. They're ripping people off, and you bulldog mindset are telling your audience. First of all, no one should say anything about that. Okay. Let's assume you have a whole bunch of objective information about people purposely scamming, which we do. Okay, You're saying if anyone wants to inform people about those things, if anyone wants to tell you know, people in the community 
Stay the fuck away from those people. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. And by the way, here's all the proof that they are, number one, unqualified. Number two, that they, they have no proof of any of their accomplishments in the game. Okay, number three, that there's endless reports of these guys sucking with women. Okay, or not knowing jack shit about good game whatsoever. Okay, if you want to go and, and let people know about that, or if you want to call those guys out, that makes you non-masculine. Okay. In, in all the other fucking retard comments that come in, you're a hater, you're a hater. Every day, endless comments about how I'm a hater against Fresh Prince CEO and Myron Gaines. I'm hating and I'm jealous because they have a big channel and I don't, okay? Look at the fucking facts in the video. Are you guys out of your fucking mind? And, if, and granted, it's usually low IQ guys butchering spelling and grammar, you know, and other uh, categories of men, which I won't go into, okay? So, you know, take those comments with a grain of salt. However, what the fuck? What, what are we supposed to do? Okay, I'm aware that most of the industry is scamming. I'm just going to keep that to myself because a real man of class should say nothing. Okay, I'm just going to let this charade fucking unfold. Fuck no, not in a million years. Okay, I'm going to take the death threats. I'm going to take the fake Reddit posts that are putting fake reviews in my channel, which by the way, or of my services, which by the way, uh, and I'm going to put all this in a video soon. We've discovered people are doing paid SEO, pushing backlinks to the to the fake Reddit posts and fake reviews that say worst PUA in the world, worst coach in the world. Here's a fake reviewers program with all these fake awards from fake Reddit accounts and paid SEO going in. So those things will top rank in Google when my name is searched. That's the fucking price I pay. Okay, and then you're gonna come on here and say, well, you don't have any class and you're not masculine. Okay, you may run a channel about being masculine and alpha, but I'd like to teach you a thing or two about it. Okay, a real man of principle should stand up for what is fucking right and, and what is fucking and call bullshit and call spade a sp call a spade a spade regardless of the fucking consequences. Okay, of, of what people are gonna say about my character or my image. Or, or they're going to just destroy my name with slander as Modern Life Dating did, okay? That they're just going to fucking destroy the reputation of my services as these fake Reddit posts have done, okay? That's the price I pay, okay? But do not come on here and say that I'm not a fucking alpha man or not a man, okay? I, I would have to hard disagree there, and I have lots of evidence to the contrary there that can back my position, okay? So let's continue here. Right, that, it, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm applying this regardless of who you are, regardless of your reasons for doing this. Now, you might say, well, John, you, aren't you like calling the kettle black? Aren't you, isn't that exactly what you're doing in this video? And what you'll notice is that I'm not going to use any names. I'm calling out a behavior. I'm not calling out a person. Okay, to me, that's being a pussy, I'm sorry. Okay, and I'm not calling you a pussy. I don't think you're a pussy, but I think that's pussy like behavior. Okay, to say that, oh, I, I can't say any names. This is what Todd V did. Okay, Todd V, for those of you that are not familiar, Todd V fucking loser dating, went for 10 years and pushed RST trash, push, pushed RST fucking cult nonsense, woo woo pseudoscience bullshit trash. Okay, then he went out on his own and then he said, Let's talk about social circle game. It's all bullshit. The concept of natural game doesn't even make sense. Of course, looks and money matter. What are you, stupid? Denouncing everything that he pushed and was a part of for 10 fucking years. Okay? And then he's like, I'm not going to say any names. But yeah, you were talking about RSD, pussy fucking loser. Say their fucking name. Okay? He can't because he's a fucking pussy. And all these guys are scared. Okay, all these guys are scared. Oh, well, 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 I don't want to feud with this with this other man. I just want to stay inside the lines and keep things everything very PC. And these guys don't want to get fucking sued. For the record, there's a whole bunch of fucking lawsuits going around right now in the industry. Okay, I'm part of some of them, and I'm gonna be releasing that stuff soon too. I'm just waiting on permission from a lawyer. Okay, and and this is this is what a fucking man does okay yes you should fucking say their name they don't deserve the dignity of keeping their their name in private or hidden when they're openly fucking robbing people and openly destroying their fucking will to go out and even talk to a woman because they've been shit all over by countless coaches okay this video is meant to show what a man should do okay and that's exactly what i've been doing but let's hear his arguments here about why it's not manly to, to, to reference any of these people. It's, it's like, let, <laughs> like this, is, this is mind boggling to me, these points are being made, okay? This is like incredible amount of like censorship and PC and stay inside the lines. 
Let's say that we had a whole bunch of people openly robbing people, okay? Should we say, oh, well, the behavior of robbing people is bad, okay? But let's let this robbing continue uh, because we don't want to say any of their names. Yes, yeah, saying their names fucking singles them out and lets people be aware so they're not robbed too, okay? Call Everyone knows robbing is bad, okay? Everyone knows shithead fucking scamming behavior is bad. That's nothing new. I'm not going to go and make a bunch of videos. Oh, yeah, well, uh, this kind of scamming behavior is bad. This kind of scamming behavior is bad. This kind of scamming behavior is bad. Everyone fucking knows that. That's not up for debate. Everyone knows that it's wrong to fucking rip people off. Everyone knows that it's wrong to pretend to be an expert. Okay, everyone knows it's wrong to be a fake guru. The fucking, you know, major uh, important point is it's this fucker being a huge fucking piece of shit. RSD Tyler. It's this fucker being a fucking piece of shit. Okay, and naming them all in turn with the reasons why. Okay, and that's not slander when I'm giving actual real true things that are behind that. Okay, I'm not inventing facts or giving, you know, speculations based on what I think. I'm showing this motherfucker is a motherfucker for this reason and this reason and this reason. Okay, there's no reason to just talk about the behavior in general. Okay, it's like if I just started making videos, uh, it's wrong to kill people. It's wrong to kill people. You shouldn't kill people, right? And then we have like, all these people going around killing people, we're not going to talk about those people, okay? Especially when they're part of the fucking, you know, actual community doing this fucking shit. No, we're just going to talk about the behavior. I don't need to do that, but you might say, well, John, didn't you make a video about Jordan Peterson? And in that case, I only had good things. I mean, I had good things to say about him. <laughs> I pointed out some issues in what he was teaching and some issues from his life and you could even argue you could i if you made the argument you said no john that that is still regardless of how you dress it up it's still to some way make a derogatory video about a person okay i i would we have a new threesome chick arriving here in like 10 minutes so i'm going to try to rip through the rest of this even be willing to grant you that but that is not the way that i operate and it's not the way that i suggest you operate and i haven't made any videos of that kin since although if you watch the jordan peterson video that i did i think you'll find that i was very fair i praised him quite a bit i said that i had nothing against him personally but i pointed out some of the things that i thought are important to know you know as in, in the sense of talking about him as a public figure as opposed to me trying to attack him in his brand and and whatnot so why is this scene is admirable this is boggling my mind further okay and why do you need to praise someone when they're fucking people over okay like for instance let's take fresh prince ceo okay i showed that he was working for wix.com as recently as december of 2020 okay he came onto the scene to create a dramatic basically reality tv trash tv show okay which is very popular with the masses and incite a bunch of fake drama and have have Myra on the Frank Kalsa castle, uh, barring from the Punisher reference, who's a real alpha. Masquerade is the pseudo alpha. Facts, facts, facts. Get the fuck out, yo. It's like the worst cringy trash shit I've ever seen. Okay, but and, and that's fine to each their own. And congratulations for for building something that that fucking other trashy people like. Okay, however, uh, don't go claiming to be a dating expert. Don't go trying to give dating advice, okay? You sent me proof, you know, from your own fucking mouth that you're banging between fours and eights. You, you should be fucking ashamed of yourself. You told me self-admittedly that you're an intermediate. Don't go acting like an expert. Don't go acting like a guru. Stay in your fucking lane, Myron, okay? And Walter Weeks, okay? You guys think it's cool to go pose next to fucking jets and cars that aren't yours and wear a CEO necklace and giving fitness advice when you're overweight? Okay, congratulations. Don't be fake experts. That's the only fucking thing. If I wanted to make a video about them, I shouldn't say, well, uh, let's praise them first and uh, let's not attack who they are, even though they're purposely ripping off everyone with, you know, in terms of being a real expert. Uh, no. What? What? What praise does a fake guru deserve? Okay. Why does it? Why should his name be fucking hidden, hidden away? Okay. Why should it, Why should you have to say anything positive about him? Or not be able to attack his character. His character is fucking trash. And what would a real man do about another man's character being trash? Okay, and, and, and this guy purposely, purposely scamming and robbing people. Okay, should a real man zip his fucking mouth shut so he can be a PC fucking pussy? No, he shouldn't. Okay, and that's what I think John is doing. And I don't think he's a pussy in general. However, I think he's encouraging people to be a fucking PC fucking retard. 
Okay, that's going to sit there and be like, well, okay, uh, I have this thought about this other man, but uh, if I want to be a real man, I can't say anything bad about anyone to not ruffle any feathers. Or I think the point that he's trying to make is it's going to make you look bad, okay, because it's going outside the lines, and now you look like a hater or a trash talker or this and that, and you're going to face uh, consequences with your character and reputation and this and that. Oh, well, <laughs> I don't give a fuck, okay? <laughs> Too bad I do not give two fucks, okay? And it comes with the territory. If, if you're going to go and call these fuckers out, they're going to fucking try to gun you down, okay? I, I've get, I get countless death threats now. I get fake Reddit posts everywhere, fake screenshots about hiring hookers. I have ex-coaches going on to slander, and various people are being sued, okay? Congratulations. You got to fight back with slander, okay? Now you have a lawsuit. Good job, okay? Let him, let him fucking do that as a response, okay? But I'm going to keep fucking calling them out for being cocksuckers. And I think that any man with, a, with, a, with two pairs of, uh, or two balls in his fucking scrotum should do the same, okay? So let's continue here. Regardless, it doesn't change the fact that regardless of whether you view what I did as doing that or not, it is still not fitting. Again, I'm not a perfect human being. I am not perfect in that in any way, but I do subscribe to principles which I live my life by, and those principles are very important. It is very important to be a man that lives his life with principles. In fact, in the Bulldog Mindset membership, uh, if you haven't checked it out, go click the link down below, $7 for the first month. I am gonna be putting together a series of, of my hierarchy of principles. This has been highly requested, and how to live your life by principles and and what that means. I think that's really important. It's something that I want to go into depth. I can't really just cover on this channel with some short videos. So check that out. Join us. If you haven't already, by the way, it'll be the best investment that you make in your life. I, I'm pretty confident of that, considering that, you know, so many members in the Bulldog Mindset membership have completely changed their lives. All right. So again, going back to the, the topic of mudslinging name calling. It's something that I want to make sure that I don't see you guys doing, you know, uh, especially in my membership. I already did a video just recently where I said I'm kicking people out of the membership that do this in the membership because it, that's not the way to treat people. It's not the way that we behave. I, I don't want you representing me, okay, to be honest with you, because it's just not the kind of behavior that someone who is successful, has self-confidence, is 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 a, a person that that people respect does okay and what i want you to watch if you disagree with me about this here first off okay okay let's like first of all he was associating with a bunch of these guys okay he was friends with myron modern life dating and they're all doing their super chats together and he told me personally he's like, oh, i wasn't aware that they were doing a bunch of this shit but i don't want to be involved i don't want to take sides fair enough okay you can be uh, a neutral third party okay but don't go and call me a man of low character or a man of no class or, or a man who's not masculine, okay, or not alpha or, or, not, or, or not having self-confidence because I want to call these motherfuckers out, okay? It's the same thing if, if like, you know, imagine, what are you teaching your audience, okay? Imagine, imagine like a high school bully situation, right? If this kid was like tormenting some other kid, right? And, and that kid finally was like, I'm going to fucking beat this kid's ass. Oh, who? Oh, I can't say. It's just general bullying behavior. I don't want to name any names here. No, I'm going to beat Tim Richards' ass or whatever the fuck his name is. Oh, oh, he's going to fucking fight Tim Richards. Oh, my God, blah, blah, blah. Oh, he must not be a man of character. Fuck that, okay? And, and he should go and fucking beat that kid's ass, okay? And that, and that should be that, all right? You're teaching men to be weak. You're teaching men to not fucking stand up for themselves. You're teaching men to stay PC and inside the lines. And you're, you're labeling that as principles, okay? Pussy principles, okay? Here's how, you, here's how you be a passive pussy, okay? Agreed, it's more fucking, uh, you know, PC and, and lets everyone have a nice rose-colored glasses world for no one to fucking call a spade a spade, okay? But you guys need people like me to fucking call this shit out. Okay, it's like the fucking quote from Scarface. Okay, we'll roll a little clip here. It's like that. Okay, so the next time you guys fucking, you know, think that it, it's just, you know, whatever. That's one of my favorite clips because he's saying, I always fucking tell the truth, even when I lie. Okay, 
and it's authenticity and it's being a man and it's not being ashamed of it. It's not being apologetic about it and it's taking all the fucking consequences that come with it. Okay. But those people deserve to be called out. They're total pieces of shit. Okay. They're total pieces of shit scammers. And I think that you fucking even know it at this point. And you just don't want to get involved because you don't want to get in the crosshairs. And also you don't want to get sued. And also you don't want to, you know, it, oh, look, you know, he's a guy that talks about other men. Okay, so stay on the sidelines, okay, with the, with the fucking tampons then. Is I want you to watch all the people involved in this, all right? And there's plenty of videos on YouTube. I'm not going to point out people. I'm not going to point out videos. You can go and look at the stuff out there. But I want you to see what, what has happened to their character and how your view of them has changed based on that, how other people's view, whether they're right or wrong. OK, there's some people that call out people and they call out obvious or not obvious, maybe, but scams and some definite lies that people have told. It, it might seem like that's a good thing to do. OK, this is a noble person person going out there and but it always taints their own image it always comes back to bite you because it is just not masculine behavior no let's not mince the two things okay yes it taints their image because it's not inside fucking politically correct lines okay but to say it's not masculine is totally fucking wrong and bullshit you're trying to lump those two together basically the argument goes oh if you fucking call out another man like a man should for being a fucking total piece of shit instead of keeping your mouth shut like a pussy, okay, then no one will think bad of you because you're not fucking, you know, speaking bad of anyone else. Yeah, but you're also being a fucking pussy, okay? I would argue directly to the contrary that you're being far more of a man than these other fucking idiots that are keeping their mouth shut. And they're like, I'm not going to name any names because I'm concerned about my reputation. Fuck my reputation, okay? I don't give a fuck, okay? And it's far more important for me to fucking call these people out and take all the fucking heat and lies and slander and bullshit. Okay, it, it negatively impacts my business a great deal. Okay, but that's worth it for me. You know why? Because when I go to bed to sleep at night, I know that all these fuckers are put on blast. And I get emails all the fucking time about guys' lives that I saved. Okay, you're kicking people out of the group for calling people out. Good job. Okay, maybe they can go to where, where a real man is teaching them how a real man should behave. Okay. okay, men do not gossip and and throw around insults to each other. All right, if you got a problem with me, let's go out in the parking lot and let's settle the problem if we need to come to that. Hopefully we can come to that with a discussion behind closed doors. Okay, this is again, this isn't this isn't like a first of all, these people are all co-located around the world. Okay, we can't go settle this in the parking lot, nor would that do jack shit. These people are, are making, you know, they're, they're making off like bandits, okay? Just robbing everyone blind in this industry, okay? And, I, and I, I'm sure you've dealt, John, with the fucking fallout of after these guys go through these fucking scam programs. I'm sure you have, okay? And it's a full-on nightmare. You, know, like you guys on YouTube that are just casual viewers, you don't know how fucking disgusting and deep and horrific this goes. Like, you know, think about the worst you can imagine it and it's like a hundred times worse okay and it keeps getting worse the, the, i hear i hear disgusting shit every fucking day okay and, and people come and, sh and share all these stories with me because i'm the only one that fucking calls these guys out okay and it's horrible okay there, there's countless mental breakdowns there's there's guys that have fully given up on women all around the world okay because people have put them through the ringer taken all their money and went like this right in their face okay and all these people, are, their lives are broken and destroyed, okay? And I'm not here to just help the men and, and give them a, the best dating solution on earth. I'm here to fucking save them as well. Because I think the biggest enemy to, to men's success in dating is other fucking scam artist bullshit coaches, okay? Who grab them, hook, line, and sinker, empty their pockets, and then push them out on the street, okay? And contacting these guys and say, hey, let's have a sit down in the parking lot. That's not going to do jack shit, and you know it, okay? But that's the, that's the classical, you know, PC response. Oh, if you have a problem with me, come say it to my face. We'll settle this outside of closed doors, not in a public arena. Bullshit and garbage and not practical whatsoever, okay? That would not work with any of these guys. These guys have built big operations revolving around scamming and, and fucking ripping people off and tricking them. Me and you, we can talk it out. We can have a private discussion, have a good time, become friends. If not, I'm ready to throw down. I'm ready to do it, it's fine. But that's how I'll handle things as a man.
All right, I'm not gonna handle things by gossiping, by making rumors about you, by making parody videos of you and memes of you and doing that kind of stuff. And again, you might think I'm calling out someone specifically, I'm not, because there's so many guilty parties in this and it doesn't mean I don't respect these guys and and consider them to be friends. I'm not on unfriendly terms with them, at least not on my part, but I am going to call out incorrect and bad behavior that is unfitting of a man. And then that just simply is, you know, and you know, a lot of people have tried to argue with me and, and try to say, no, John, there's some instances where this makes sense. And I, I hear you and I understand to a degree what you're saying. And there's a part of me that wants to agree and say, yeah, you know, actually that does make sense when someone, someone's, but it doesn't make sense because principles guide your behavior. Here's a very high. Yeah, principles guide your behavior. Here's my principle. Don't let fuckheads go around fucking everyone over. Okay? That's an important principle. Okay? Your principle is to stay on the sidelines. Watch all these fuckheads destroy the industry. Destroy all the people that genuinely need help. Okay? But since you're a man of principle, you don't want to call them out. Since you're a man of principle, you don't want to let anyone be aware of these things. Why? Because that will negatively hit your income. Okay? That's, that's my guess. Okay? And, and your reputation. In order to stay PC and keep squeaky clean, okay, and not impact the business negatively. Because what happens when you call someone by a name, now that person wants revenge. That person's going to make a hit video on you. And they might also bring in a whole bunch of slander like Modern Life Dating did. They might also get a whole bunch of fake reviews going about you on Reddit that they're paying SEO backlinks to go to, okay? And, and so on and so forth. It, I mean, my, and there's massive amounts of misinformation about me out there. So people go look up my name. Oh, that's the guy that hires hookers. There's zero evidence of that. Okay, but people throw that claim around all the time. Oh, that's the guy that, that's a rapist. I've never been accused of charge with rape ever. Okay, those are just slander statements that people try to use against me. And he's staying out of that so that he doesn't, you know, take all the backlash. Okay, I welcome the backlash. As I said, I don't give a fuck about my reputation. I don't give a fuck about the number of subs I have. I don't give a fuck about the number of people that are going to come retaliate against me. Okay, this needs to be done. And I firmly believe this is what a real man should do. And that's my principle. My principle to understand, which is that you do not allow someone's treatment of you or or of, of who they are to affect who you are, right? So it's it's about not letting people bring you down to their level. And so you might say, well, this person deserves it and I'm doing a service to the community by calling them out. It doesn't matter because what you're doing now is you're participating in mudslinging, you're participating, whether it be factual or not, you are now allowing what they've done or who they are to undermine your own integrity and to make you stoop down to a lower level of gossiping and, and whatnot. So this disagree again, this is, uh, this is, this is stupid. It's a little bit disappointing. It's like, basically the lesson here is if men are fucking people over and doing a whole bunch of negative shit that you can prove, okay, you should never say anything about those guys ever. And that's being a man. Are you kidding me? Is that, is that, you really believe that? That's fucking ridiculous and totally absurd. Okay. I don't think you're stooping to their level, especially when it's so rampant. This isn't like a one-off thing. Like, oh, there's one guy in the industry of, of a whole bunch of legit guys that's misleading people. No. There's almost no one that's legit. The entire industry is a steaming pile of dog shit. Okay, that's why there's so many videos I put out about these guys. It's not it's not to to hate and, and be jealous and, and, and to be mudslinging and gossiping like a woman. No, it's a fucking full on clown show. Okay, and there's so much more that, that needs to be said that I have barely scratched the surface here. You have you have guys running around that don't know what the fuck they're doing. You have guys running around that have no real expertise at all, okay? That are literally content farming shit out to India and then making 50 grand a day, pushing paid traffic behind scam systems. And we should just all fucking whoop, zip it up. Don't say anything about it, okay? We know about it. Don't say anything. We don't wanna get dragged down that level. AKA, once you go down and talk about them, now you're a target. AKA, once you go and talk about them, now your business suffers, okay? So it's a strategic move, okay? To, to be likable to everyone, to, you know, once you go to the side that I'm on, there's no going back. Okay. But as I said, I don't fucking care. And I think that, that as a man, you need to be able to endure what comes with the territory. When you stand up for yourself as a man, when you stand up for everybody else, all of you guys watching, they're like, well, I agree with him. I'm standing up for you. 
Okay, I'm taking financial backlash, reputational backlash, and, and a whole bunch of other fucking negative nonsense. Okay, for the sake of showing people what's really going on behind the scenes with all these motherfuckers. This is just something that I'm not going to really bend on, right? There, there's not, it's a very clear principle to me that men do not do this. Again, have I ever done this in my life? Of course I have. I, I, everyone has made mistakes. I've made mistakes. I'm not perfect in any way, but I will not tolerate this in the Bulldog Mindset membership, which if you haven't joined, you can check it out. You know, it, and the part of the reason why I want to make this video too is to let you guys know, hey, I'm building a community of men that ascribe to these principles. And again, this is more just like high road hoity toity bullshit. Oh, if you want to be inside these PC lines and be a real man, then you can be part of our community. Otherwise, you can't. Okay, and all the you know brainwashed PC retards. Oh, where do I sign up? Let's all never talk about anyone. Let's all just be our own men. Uh, the world is soft. The community is soft. This is encouraging people to be soft. This girl's fucking arrived. So let's Okay, no, you might not. Now, believe me, I could have a much more successful channel. I could have a much more successful membership. I could have a lot more more people if I did a woman hiding channel, if I did an expose on other people's channel. No, you wouldn't. You'd have no idea all the negative shit that comes with that. It's it's not a good business move, okay? But I don't care about that part of it. Uh, if, if I did that kind of mudslinging type of thing, all right, and and show, and told you, oh, it's, it's not your fault, women are so bad, blah, 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 whatever, men are more happy, single, all of these things, all right, women are so bad, blah, 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 okay? I could do that and I could be more successful, but I don't want to do that, right? Instead of what I want to do is I want to create a community of really strong, outstanding men. I want to create a community of men that I would be willing to go to battle with, of men that I would want to be around and that I would want to have my daughter date. That's the kind of, of men that I would want to create within my community and that's why I'm, I'm building that community. So. Keep that in mind, keep that in mind, right? Think about these things and think about and what I would have you meditate on, if, if anything with all this is just, will you allow someone else's depravity to change your character, to make you less of a man? Oh my God, this is, this is such a bad message. It, I, as I said, I respect John, but this is such a bad message. It's, it's lay down Hold up a white surrender flag if you want to fucking be a real man and stand up to any of these assholes that are destroying people's lives. Let me, let me hammer that through your head, John. They're destroying everyone's lives and you know it, okay? You're just doing the politically correct, what's good for your image move, okay? And, and you want everyone else to be on board with that. And, and then you're, but then you're going to try to insult the guys that are actually fucking taking a stand against these guys, which I fully disagree with, okay? You can be off in your little PC pussy world, but don't go and, and start saying that these other guys are not masculine. Uh, that's fucking bullshit. I, I'm not. I'm not going to allow that to happen regardless of what someone does. And, and people can sling mud at me all day, and I am not going to respond. I'm rubber, you're glue. Whatever you say to me bounces off and back to you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Don't respond. Be neutral. It, I think that's weak. I think that's very weak behavior. From my personal opinion... I think you're being extremely weak, and I think you're being a bad example for these men about what is what real masculinity is about. Okay, a real man fucking stands up for other men. Okay, a real man fucking calls out an asshole for being an asshole, regardless of the consequences. You're telling guys if you want to be a real man, aka you know be be admired and looked upon with respect, and 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 uh, have people you know see oh this character is something I want to be then you must never speak about anyone, even if 95% of the industry is, is being scammed and being fucked over and lives are all being destroyed. Let's just stand in the middle of the carnage as the whole community is burning down and t just take a nice big zipper and put it right over our fucking mouth, okay, so that you can be a man of character. Fuck that. Okay, I'd rather fucking be dead. By slinging mud back at them. And I'll tell you again, like I said, most of the people that do this, they do this out of fear or, or hurt. And some of them... <laughs> again... Erroneous. Fear or hurt. These guys are fucking cl clowns. I just told you. They're fucking ruining lives. Ruining lives on a massive scale. Stealing money. Leaving these guys broken and hopeless. I, I talk to guys every single day. It further, and it further hammers home the, the horror show that has been going on in this community. 
It, it's beyond anyone's wildest dreams. You guys have no idea. There's tons of stuff that I have not said publicly and, and I'm not at liberty to say publicly. That is horrifying. Okay? It's not coming from a place of fear. Oh, I'm afraid. I'm going to talk about these guys. Uh, no. <laughs> no. These guys are destroying lives. Okay? I'm standing up for them. I'm calling out clown behavior because I respect the game. Okay? That is what this is about. And that is what a real man should do. And in my view, you are not being a real man. And you're encouraging others to not be a real man. To keep their fucking mouth shut. Mm, do believe that they have a noble reason for doing that. I, I, I don't think that, that it's completely always a malicious thing in their mind. All right? But it's weak. It's weak behavior. Right? Defending yourself for in many cases is weak because you don't need to because your words should stand for themselves your actions should stand for themselves as a man if, if you guys question me and you're like well john is, is john a fraud is john you know whatever does he have results does he have receipts all these things all right fine go ahead i'm not going to defend the accusations because i don't need to you can look at what i'm doing you can look at who i am you can listen to what i'm saying all right and you can see that the things that i talk about on this channel that they are what i live and you know that's 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 what it comes down to so defending myself calling other people names mudslinging responding to mudslinging it's it's not necessary it's not behavior that is, behooves you again don't stand up for yourself either guys write that down okay if, if other people make slanderous claims like oh he every single one of his girls is a hired hooker and look here's a fake screenshot that that proves that okay no what a man should do is say look this is fucking bullshit there's zero evidence for that. And by the way, I'm going to fucking sue you for saying that shit publicly. Okay? That's what I meant. He's literally saying, don't say anything bad about anyone. And if they say something bad about you, turn the other cheek. Okay, what is this, biblical times? For those of you that want some insight into, the, into how backwards this is, read Beyond Good and Evil by Friedrich Nietzsche. Okay, what he's advocating for is basically slave morality. He's glorifying meekness and weakness and... And, you know, basically being a passive pussy pushover, okay? And then he's, he's, he's wrapping that all up with this nice little alpha package, alpha masculine package. Here's what an alpha masculine guy should do. He should just roll over and turn the other cheek and, and just stay in his own lane and, and be as politically correct as possible. Yeah. Where do I sign up for that? As a gentleman, as, as a man as of a honor, of a man who uh, has integrity and lives his life by principles, all right? And so if you don't like that, you're welcome to unsubscribe from the channel. You're welcome to go over to some community where men just bash women, bash other people who aren't part of their group, and and that's let's now he's now he's mincing two other two completely unrelated things. I'm not bashing women. I'm not bashing people who aren't part of my group. I'm bashing people for purposely lying and purposely scamming and purposely robbing people and destroying lives. Okay, huge difference. You're, you're welcome to do that. It, it's fine. I'm not offended. Go, go, go be where you'll be happy. <laughs> as, as Andrew from Nomad Capitals would say, go where you're treated best. But the question I would have for you is, are you treated best there? Right? You know, what I find in many of these communities is that as soon as someone commits the sin of not complying with the group think, then they are ostracized and bullied. So it's... That's exactly what you're doing. As soon as someone is not going along with the group think, which is you don't talk about anyone, they're ostracized and kicked out of the bulldog membership. Okay? And you're criticizing that. Nice. It's unfortunate, but that's the truth. So, guys, be better. Guys, be a pussy. Be bigger than that. Don't participate on it. Don't go in the comments. Don't don't feed into it. When you see a video on YouTube where someone is slinging mud or, or doing some shit, don't comment there. Don't even watch the video if you can if you can withstand from doing that. And uh, instead, just just live your life as as a man that has integrity, that has compassion for other people, that treats them well and respects other people whether they deserve it or not. And, and don't allow someone else's <laughs> respect. All these guys. The day that I respect some fucking piece of shit scammer that's been openly proven to be ruining men's lives is, is the day, I, like I said, I'd rather be fucking dead. And you're advocating to go respect those guys. My, my final thoughts here that I've gathered from this is he's advocating pussy slave morality, that the, that the same morality that Christianity pushes, okay? It's desirable to be meek and weak 
and turn the other cheek. Never say anything bad about someone. Okay. And <laughs> this, this is so, this is so sad. This is, this is all wrapped up as being masculine. Okay. And just because his channel is about alpha masculinity, guys are going to say, oh, well, since he said that and the channel is about alpha masculinity, this, this must be so. No, this is full backwards. Okay. I can't stress that enough. This is completely backwards. Okay. I will give him the point that yes, it's all nice and rosy and PC to stay in your lane and not say anything about anyone else. Okay. But then you can live an average, boring, normal life. Okay. And, and you can carry those behaviors over to women and you can fail with women too. Okay. Cause women don't respect that either. Behavior to change who you are. It's, it's such a key thing. And that's, and that's what, when you talk about being masculine and being a man, when I look at masculinity, I, I think of masculinity as being a rock, being as a dependable, a force that does not change, it's not influenced by emotions, that is not easily swayed, a really stable human being. That's that's what it means to be masculine, to be a man. And so if you allow other people's behavior, their bad behavior, to change your core characteristics of who you are and what you value and the things that you speak about and, and do, then you're not much of a man, unfortunately. It is, you're lacking in masculinity. Again, this is not a personal attack against against anyone, but this is a call, a call. I'm calling you. If you're watching this video and you're doing this kind of stuff, I'm calling you to a higher purpose as a man, all right? Because I know that what a fucking it, joke. It's, it's, not, it's not good for your soul. <laughs> it's not good for you. It, it, I don't even believe in a fucking soul. It doesn't, it doesn't solve anything. It doesn't help anything. It only makes you look bad. And when you look at it again, like I said, you it doesn't solve anything. Uh, actually, it's I've saved countless guys. Okay, it's it solved a lot of things. Okay, and people are waking up about the massive scamming that's going on, and it's solving a ton of shit. Okay, and the fact that you're advocating for everyone to roll over and be a huge pussy and, and disguising that as masculine behavior is complicating things even further and, and misleading guys even further in the wrong direction. You want the proof of it, look at the people who are doing this and has anyone actually gained in value in your eyes? Not not just in subscribers or whatever, but in actual value. Do you ever see someone who participates in name calling and you're like, this guy is, a, is a, an outstanding you know, member of society, a pillar of a man. Do you feel like he's more masculine because he's name called? I don't. Okay, and to his last point there, yes, I receive emails all the time. Thank you for fucking opening my eyes. Thank you for allowing me to unsub to this fuckhead and this fuckhead. Hey, I already wasted fuck tons of money about this guy and all of my suspicions about him were confirmed true by your videos. I really respect that you have the balls to say what needs to be said about these guys. I really respect that you are showing us what's going on behind the scenes so that our lives are not destroyed. Okay, so quite the contrary bulldog mindset, okay, who, who's chosen to stay in PC, uh, you know, fairy tale land. There are a lot of people that respect what I'm doing. Okay, it's not baseless hating. It's not fucking clout chasing. It's not being jealous. Okay, and say what you want about my character, but I'm unapologetic about it. Okay, and I'm going to continue to do it. Okay. So I hope, I hope this was a, a nice thing. There's a fucking threesome girl who's been waiting for like 20 minutes with the other girl in the house. I need to go bang some ladies. But uh, very disappointed with, with the fucking stances he's taking. And, and of course, you know, he's got to stay, stay nice and PC. But, you know, if you go down that road, you're going to end up being a huge pussy. Okay? I promise you that. And girls do not respect guys that are a huge pussy. They respect a guy that calls calls a spade a spade, that isn't afraid to stand up for himself and take all the fucking backlash and negativity that comes with it. Okay. If you want to learn my whole system, jump on a free 30-minute call. Link in the description. Thank you guys so much. It's been a fun time. And I'll see you on the next video. Subscribe if you're not yet a subscriber. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run No doubt son, this is not just about fun We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum